I feel a tremor in the force. It must be that time of week. And here it is, wow. That is the teaser, it is, finally. So long, so long to take, to get to this moment, to be able to do the Bike of the Week on the 2021 Harley-Davidson Sports Duress, brand new. Awesome. Finally get a chance to check out this bike here in person. So the Sports Duress, let's check out a few of the features of it. It's got a crazy 160 front tire, 17-inch 160 front tire, and also a beefy, this is a beefy bike. It's got a 180 on the back, a 16-inch 180 on the back. And then these special pipes that have been added on here. This is a special shield here. So yes, the pipes do get warm, uh, but this is not gonna burn your leg. It features the Revolution Max T engine, 1250cc. It is like the Pan Am engine, but it's not just the Pan Am engine detuned. This is making 120 horsepower, 94 pounds of torque. It has a different cam, different cam timing, different valves. It's a slightly different engine. Similar engine, but not the exact same engine. It's not just a detuned engine on it. As well, LED headlights here that are uh, standard on it. Nice digital TFT display, not touchscreen, but it is a digital display here. With the Harley Davidson app as well, you can get maps on it. It also has for the controls, the controls are just like the Pan Am controls. So you do have here a music widget that you can if you have a Bluetooth headset, like a Santa headset hooked up to it. It does also have cruise control on it. The same kind of layout to go through all of the things in the display on these ones. So it's very similar to the Pan Am. Self-canceling turn signals, but they are uh, the standard kind. So just on the left-hand side, unlike a traditional Harley that also has them on the right-hand side. This has ride modes, a rain mode. It also has traction control on it, customizable modes. You can switch those modes on the fly right here. This is a beautiful bike. This one is in Midnight Crimson. It's been one of our hottest colors this year. There's very limited 2021s. So they came out in a stonewashed white pearl. We had one go out the door already. And also the black. Very few of those are gonna go out. We're gonna start looking at the 2022s. And those will actually be different colors. Vivid black, always available. There'll be two updated colors for those ones. Uh, a fork lock as well, but just like all Harleys, this is a keyless ignition. This is gonna be a fast bike. It does have a 29 inch seat height, so it does sit up a bit higher. One of the interesting things that I did notice in here, now the Pan, has, Pan Am has adaptive ride height. It still has it in the menu. Is it gonna be a feature in the future? I'm just starting, I'm maybe an unnecessary rumor here. I just thought that'd be interesting. It would be cool, even on these Sportsters, to see that adaptive ride height, because for some people, that are shorter, it is a challenge to find a bike that fits. So it would be nice. And this bike does sit up taller than your traditional Sportster sitting around 26 inches. This back piece here comes off. Um, you can put a passenger pillion on it. As well, there's actually a passenger backrest. Um, this is a standard setup for the plate. Probably in the future, side mounted plate, maybe some kind of tidy kit. Um, still, not a ton of accessories yet, but I'm sure tons will come. And it'll be interesting to see what something like Ricks or Thunderbike does to do some cool mods on this bike. Fully adjustable suspension, front and rear. This is the rear knob for the preload. It does have, you gotta get in there, um, rebound, compression, you can dial in, um, but it's a little bit harder to get up. Uh, the front here though, fully adjustable. ABS is standard tire pressure monitoring. This bike's got it all. All the bells and whistles, brand new style. This is, this is the future of the Sportsters, and it looks pretty awesome. 
So call us about the Sports Duress or any other motorcycles or come see us this beautiful sunny October day in beautiful Vancouver at Trev Neely Motorcycles. Oh, <sighs>